Since in the Red Sea have seen the UK media and politicians waking up to the fact that the RN currently has a very limited land attack missile capability. Here we round up briefly the options available right now and what might be expected for the future maritime deep strike ultimately a Navy's purpose is to influence events on land. Most of these effects are delivered indirectly but naval gunfire has played an important role in many conflicts. Since cruise missiles matured in the 1980s, navies now have a strike option to strike targets far inland with pinpoint accuracy. Ships on the gunline conducting NGS are increasingly vulnerable to shore-based missiles and land attack cruise missiles LACM, offer a much safer alternative and a vital complement to carrier aircraft. Typically they have been used to degrade air defenses and command and control functions before follow-on attacks by aircraft. LAGMs can also be used without risking aircrew at all and offer an all-weather fire and forget option. At the time of writing, the submarine-launched Tomahawk land attack missile TLAM, is the only option available to the RN to strike targets ashore at range without launching aircraft from a carrier. It will shortly acquire a modest interim ship-launched land attack missile capability in the shape of the Naval Strike Missile NSM, or what the RN terms the Maritime Offensive Strike System MOS. The Wildcat helicopter can also deliver lightweight martlet, and eventually see venom, missiles against small targets ashore but this cannot be counted as a significant land attack capability, for years many naval advocates have urged the RN to add lands to its surface ships, an anomaly amongst the majority of other top-tier navies for which this is a standard feature of its major surface combatants. Over the last 20 years, wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, together with prioritization of the carriers and assorted other pressures have left this as an unfunded aspiration. TLAM is arguably the most reliable and successful cruise missile ever made, for example. More than 100 have already been launched by the USN during operations in the Red Sea since November. With a combination of long-range, advanced navigation, accuracy, and a sizable warhead it is fine all-round performance.In 2023 the mod confirmed the remaining stock of TLAM Block 4 will be upgraded to Block V standard in a 5-year £265 million program beginning this year. The latest variant features improved in-flight communications, target selection, increased resistance to countermeasures and range extended beyond 1000 km. As far as it is possible to tell, no RN submarines have been deployed or launched TLAM in response to events in the Red Sea. Theoretically, if given overflight permission from Egypt, as was the case for the Typhoon sorties for Cyprus, TLAM could strike targets in Yemen if launched from the eastern Mediterranean.